So one topic that came out uh, in today's lesson was when the player is moving three steps forward, let's say we're attacking a short ball and uh, the footwork pattern is usually if we're trying to go into neutral stance, it's like it's one. So we're doing split step one, two, three, and we're hitting. So the players will oftentimes see that a pro is going to hit like this, spin around and come on this leg. So one danger with this is that it can be done wrong or it can be done right. So when it's done wrong, it means that the player is getting to this position and they are now losing balance as they're hitting. So exactly as they're hitting, they're coming off this foot in the wrong way. They're losing balance. Now they're catching themselves. So I will show you one correct and one wrong. First, I will show you correct. So correct is like this. Or if, if I step forward, so this is correct, I drop the ball. This is correct. This is incorrect. So if we're just describing, we can describe it in the same way. You came on the left foot for right-handers, you hit a forehand, you end it on the, on the right leg. But in one case, I was controlling my balance while I was hitting and I came here in a controlled manner and in the second case I was losing balance and this leg had to hurry up to catch me because I'm falling on my face. So the brain triggers this back leg to catch you because you feel that it's falling and the brain triggers this leg very quickly to catch you. And this is happening exactly when you're hitting the ball and you're missing the shot. So you have to first pay attention that you have to really see when the player is doing that. You can see that they are balanced, they're doing it well, even if they continue to the net, let's say I would continue to the net. You can see that I am in dynamic balance, I'm not being thrown around. The player is going like this. They're out of balance. So one way to correct this, like stage one to correct this, we actually ask the player to stay and really work hard using this leg to break. Because when they lose balance, their front leg is not really breaking and positioning and stabilizing strongly. They're just putting the leg and falling over it. So they are not used to using the muscles on this leg the right way to stop the momentum or slow down. Because when you are skilled, you are simply slowing down the momentum. Then you step here or continue or whatever you want to do. So in the learning stage, we exaggerate slightly and players are going to practice running to the short ball. Maybe first without the ball, one, two, three and trying to stay in balance so that this foot you can drag it, you try to keep it in balance but you're not yet stepping forward so you're going like this so the coach could throw a short ball like this, the player goes one, two, three and control themselves and once they feel good stability, good control you can take it to the next step where they release themselves and they try to feel that they are releasing themselves from this position in a controlled manner that they are not in a rush to step forward so they're going forehand and like this and you see it's completely controlled and balanced and when it's controlled and balanced I have control of the shot so again very simple concept is you will only control the ball if you control yourself meaning your body's movement around the court, that you're stable and balanced 
even in dynamic balance. So balance doesn't always mean like this, that is static balance. In tennis there's a lot of dynamic balance, which means we are moving, but we feel in control, balanced. And so next time you're observing a professional doing this footwork pattern, or you are drilling it, make sure that you understand the difference between doing it the right way or doing it the wrong way, losing balance. When you become aware of it, then you can correct it. Like I said, first run to the ball, stay stable, don't put the foot forward, and then in the second phase, okay, now I understand how this one works.